Behind me, you'll see the new radar, the Captor E-Scan radar that we're in flight test right now, uh, the Pirate Infrared Search and Track, and really this shows you all of the different systems that are on Typhoon. So really, uh, our partners Leonardo and other partners make some really great cutting edge sensors. Uh, and it's not just that those sensors are great, but it's the way that the aircraft pulls all that together. So all of that data would normally be too much for a pilot to pull together. So the aircraft does what we call sensor fusion and makes one clear, coherent picture, allows the pilot to cut through the fog of war and actually have information superiority, make those battlefield decisions. If you add the weapons in, then I can carry a broad range of both US, uh, uh, European, and other parts of the world weapons, and that gives me great flexibility, uh, both uh, in air weapons and surface weapons. So I can carry six air-to-air -air missiles at any time, a laser designation pod, up to eight surface munitions, uh, smart munitions like the Brimstone anti-tank or anti-FIAC uh, missile, as well as precision-guided bombs. And the Royal Air Force and the Royal Saudi Air Force are doing a great job right now in Syria and Iraq against Daesh, every single day operating uh, alongside our coalition allies like the Iraqi army and Peshmerga and, uh, and operating to great effect uh, using precision weapons. And I think this is why it's a great aircraft for the Malaysian Air Force going forwards. So there's a, there are a few key discriminators with Typhoon. Uh, one is this great radar behind me. Um, it's a lot larger. The radar is a lot larger than our competitors' aircraft, so that gives a lot more sensitivity. Uh, the, uh, the Striker 2 helmet that we're demonstrating here, that we would love the public to come and try on, that's a, a complete visor display. It's full color, it's digital, it's got an integrated night sensor. None of our competitors have that display. And it's not only an information display, but I use it to interact as part of the weapon system. So if I get eyes on hostiles, I can the ground designate, very quickly release surface weapons, I can release air, I can cue air to air missiles. So that helmet mounted display in conjunction with the sensors, the whole way the pilot interacts with the aircraft really makes his uh, decision making ability easier and drives down his workload so he can concentrate on the, on the battle. So this is the Striker 2. It's our latest full digital, full color um, integrated night sensor helmet. And it, as strange as it seems, on his visor, uh, he is being shown this imagery that you see behind you. So you can have a full color image on a clear visor. That's incredibly powerful for the pilot. That's a key discriminator. None of our competitors have a helmet mounted display to match that. And this sensor here is a night sensor. So what we would currently use for night vision goggles, now it's integrated fully on the helmet. That means in a close air support situation at night, I have full situational awareness. And it's a really uh, great example of the cutting edge technology that's not only in the Eurofighter Typhoon, but within the other systems that actually feed into the jet. So this is made by BE Systems, Rochester, uh, uh, our ES Systems Division. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, in flight test at the moment on the, on the Typhoon. The earlier variant that uh, is in service with all of our current customers is being used every day uh, against Daesh over Iraq and Syria by both the Royal Saudi Air Force and the Royal Air Force.